All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We're here on the home screen, which you know what that means? It's update day. We just got version 1.15. You can see it down here, uh, which is gonna bring a bunch of new parts and a few other things. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna talk about everything that's new in the update. Uh, we got a new computer here on the, the main free build screen. Actually, no huge glaring giveaways. Maybe they're there, you just have to look closely. But uh, the case is not new, there's not a lot of big giveaways. But we're gonna go into free build and we're gonna check out what's new in the 1.15 update right now. Okay, so here we are in the Iratech Executive Suite. This was uh, the latest like new free workshop that we got as part of the game. Uh, as one of the big exciting things in 1.15 is that we've got another free workshop, uh, which we're gonna go check out right now. So change workshop, everyone gets this for free. Uh, of course, got all the workshops we already had. These are all paid, 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 paid. I've paid too much money on this game. Uh, standard workshop, we have all the esports expansion ones. Here's the executive suite. We've got the IT expansion ones. And now we've got a new one. Uh, this is called the uh, the Era Tech open plan productivity suite. So let's jump in and let's see what it looks like. Ooh, there's balls to sit on, that's cool. So we're gonna jump in and see what the productivity suite is all about. So here we are, the open floor plan, the open plan productivity suite from Eratech. This is actually pretty cool. I don't, this feels so much bigger than other workshops, but I think it is just because it's so open. We've got multiple foosball tables. Uh, we got two foosball tables, we've got a video game console that you cannot play. Continue, no, 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 no. Oh, it just starts over again. Okay, anyway. Um, you can use this, by the way, in career mode or free build. Obviously, we're here in free build. So that's pretty cool. Uh, can you use it in the IT expansion? I think you can because there's a printer and there's a whiteboard with a bunch of cats and a dog. One dog, just one dog? Oh, so bunnies. Oh, mostly, uh, there's a lot of cat people in this office. Oh, there's, there's actually do dog. Dog, dog, never mind. Cat, hedgehogs. Oh, anyway, yeah. It's, this is fun. Who's this guy? Who are you? Are you uh, a regular corp? Wow, look at that. Eh, that's, there's, a, there's an inside joke there, I've got a feeling. Uh, wow, I like this though. It's maybe a tad dark. Wish I could, you know, open the shades. Are the lights on? Oh my gosh, yes, the lights are on. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so as far as workbenches go, we've got a workbench. Yeah, I, I, okay, I like the layout, but man, it's like a lot of, it's a lot of like running around. So we got the, this would be like the main, the main workbench. Um, this is one that has like all the peripherals, whatnot, yeah. We got, you know, bowls of gummy bears, why not? NZXT's like plush uh, puck thing, okay. Interesting, beanbag chairs. This is like a, like a radiator with fan, there's, so there's obviously like a real PC building thing going here at, at Eratech. I don't know what this company does. Oh, we've got, okay, cool. They just like have like different little like decor items placed like Hearthstone uh, cards. We've got the Oris Dragon on top of the PC building simulator board game. But here's works. Here's another workstation. Fall Guys, the game on a stand. Uh, and then our other two workstations are here. Bouncy ball, we got sitting balls, good for, you know stuff uh, keyboard weirdly large cup and then there's a bunch of workstations over here that don't do anything we can't do anything with these uh, presumably these are our co-workers computers that we always have to fix so uh, I, you know fishbowl yeah so I mean like everything over on this side of the office basically is not useful uh, not useful at all it's, it's, can we interact with oh geez I got stuck on the beanbag chairs can we interact with this <gasps> Yeah, okay. We've seen this in different places. There aren't that many wallpapers. Uh, that, 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 that seems fine. Uh, speaker phone. Okay, yeah, you know. It's an office. It's a big open floor office. Uh, it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. I like it. I'll take it. It's a free It's a free workshop. You can't really complain, right? I think it'd be wrong to complain. Um, so that's one of the big additions in 1.15, but the other big additions are, of course, new parts. So let's go in and let's look at some of the new parts. Let's just run through what's new. We've got one new motherboard and it's from a vendor that's never made a motherboard in the game yet. It's from Colorful. We've seen them. They've had graphics cards. Um, not much else. What else have they had? Fans? I don't know, but they now have an X570 motherboard. So colorful, their first motherboard, uh, sports RAM up to 4,000 megahertz speed. So not a particularly like super amazing 
motherboard like outright, but there it is. It's, it's kind of unique. It's got an interesting looking chipset cooler on it. Uh, the VRMs and heat sinks are pretty small. The top one seems very small to me um, for an X570, kind of. Seems a little, you know, I don't know. So that's that. Um, we've got new cases, actually. New cases is kind of like the headline new thing that's really exciting. Um, we've got two new cases from Corsair that are pretty exciting, and I'm always excited about new cases. Of course, I wish we had 20 new cases. We only have two, uh, but we've got a, a bunch of different variants. So we've got Corsair's IQ 5000T, and so this is kind of a, a celebration of them releasing um, releasing their new 5000T, which I think is happening like, you know, that was it was shown back at CES 2021, apparently. Uh, but the 5000T is here. There's a black version, a white version, and then we also now have their 5000D, which we've had for a long time. And then there's the 5000X, which is interesting because it's not, wait, the 5000D isn't in the change log. See, the 5000D I think we've had. Have we not? Have we really not? I felt like we've had it, but it's stacked down here at the bottom, which makes which makes you think that it's new, but I don't remember. It's not in the change log. So the 5000D, I don't know. I kind of felt like we had it, but maybe we didn't. Uh, we definitely have it now. We got the airflow, black or white. So these are gonna be solid side or side, solid front panel. This one will be mesh front panel. Uh, oh, airflow comes in black and white. So that's pretty cool. The 5000T, IQ, black or white. And then the 5000X RGB, we've got a black or white version. Those look like solid glass front panels. So they're very similar. Uh, the 5000D, the 5000X are very similar. And then the 5000T is kind of a new design, but it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll take a look at it now, but I'll be planning on doing a video. I do think it's a bit dark in here, actually. I need some more lighting. Give me some more lighting. This is going to be so... Oh, yeah, I don't want to build here because it's, it's going to be on the floor. Uh, is my cabinet... My cabinet's there, I think. Okay, so... But, yeah, it's really dark in here. I don't, I don't love how dark it is. Uh, but there you go, 5,000... T, so it's got RGB like down the sides. We'll do a build in this soon. We're gonna do a build in this and probably not in this workshop because it's much too dark to appreciate beautiful hardware. Um, but those are the, the new case editions, pretty cool. I'm never gonna complain about case editions. Uh, we've got new air coolers and new liquid coolers. Let's look through, we're gonna scroll to the bottom and just kind of run through it. Thermal take TH360, this is a 360 uh, millimeter AIO, we've got a black version, uh, well, we've got a white version, we've got a TH, we got a PF. Um, hard to say exactly the difference. They don't, not super sure. They have just like different looking blocks. Oh wait, so that's, so, wow, that's a thermal take. That's a silver stone. That's probably the difference. Uh, we've got 240 in black or white sink or sink snow edition. Uh, I'm always excited about white parts. So yay, new white AIOs. That is cool. Did we have a full white 360 AIO? I think we did. Oh no, we had the Gamer Storm one, which had black fans. So actually, uh, and actually what's interesting, it doesn't show up when I search for white, so it's not perfect, um, but that's cool. We have a white one with RGB fans. So that gives us some new possibilities with white parts, which I'll always take. Uh, EVGA CLC 360, this is new, interesting. Uh, just a random EVGA one. We've got new ones from Alpha Cool. They're Ice Bear, Ice Bear, Aurora, uh, 360. Oh, a 420. What? Is this the first? This is the first 420 AIO we've ever had. Wow. And we've got a few now. Wait, these are all new, right? These are all new. These are all new. These are all new. Yes, maybe. Yes, definitely. The two Alpha Cools are new. The Arctic, actually, we might have already had. Huh. I guess we had 420s. I didn't even know. Uh, so that'd be three 140 fans. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, I like that. That's exciting. I think we did have the Arctic. I just didn't realize. But now we've got these new Alpha Cool Ice Bear Auroras, 420, 360, 280, 240. And then a different Ice Bear Non-Aurora, 420. Wow. And that is a very, like, industrial-looking... <laughs> design big chunky block and uh, those fittings are interesting uh, this is definitely a little nicer looking but you know that's that's a thing uh we've got new air coolers like i said uh, we've got cooler masters hyper 212 oh rgb black edition rgb black dual fan so fans on each side of the heatsink. uh cooler master master let's see uh hyper 212 evo v2 dual fan and then a hyper 212 black i mean this is great because the hyper 212 is like 
it's the it's a great IO and it's, or a great it's a great air cooler and it's super cheap. So that's cool to have that. Oh, be quiet, Dark Rock TF2. That is new as well. We've had the Dark Rock TF, but not the TF2. That has fans on both sides. So that's that seems a bit bigger than the TF was. We had the TF before. Oh wait, we had the TF2. Shadow Rock TF. Okay. Oh no, the Dark Rock TF did have fans on both sides. Okay, so this is the second iteration of that. It has a all black heat sink, which is pretty nice looking. Um, lower CFM for what it's worth. This game does kind of seem to care about CFM though. So that's air coolers, I believe. I believe that's all the air coolers, all the liquid coolers. Let's just double check we didn't miss anything. Oh geez. Uh, yep, okay. Uh, Arctic freezer, this is all, we had all this. We had all these, we had all these, right? No, these are actually new, 34. So the Arctic freezer 34 eSports duo, fans on both sides, these are new. They're in the change log, they are new. Oh, Arctic Freezer Extreme. Does that have a fan in the middle of the heatsink? Well, wow, that's interesting. Okay, and then there's another duo, Arctic Alpine 23. That is also new, and the 23 CO. So some new low profile, like kind of like stock heatsink fan replacements. Uh, and then then the Ryzen Tech ones. These are old, so that's not new. I don't believe. No, no. Okay. So that's it. We got and we got quite a few different air coolers and liquid coolers. So that's that's exciting. Uh, let's jump into GPUs quick. We've got a few new graphics cards. They are all air cooled water cards, uh, air cooled uh, graphics cards, and they're all from Zotac. We've got two RTX 360, 3060s, a 3070, and then a 3080. So here's our two 3060s. We've got a 3060 Twin Edge and a 3060 Amp. We've got a 3070 Amp. That's a fun design. And then we should have a 3080 Trinity. So those are our new graphics cards. Didn't we already have a Trinity? Do we have a 3090 Trinity? Am I am I making this up? No, I guess their cards just look so similar. I get confused. Their Trinity is like their pretty like standard entry, you know, uh, level cooler. I think the core hollow and stuff are a bit nicer. The amp hollow are nicer, I believe. But so four new cards, all from Zotac, two 3060s, one 3070, one 3080. We've got new memory, which is exciting. I'll take new memory. Nothing like crazy, um, like speed wise necessarily. We've got Team Group's Excalibur RAM here, 32 gig flavors, 3200, 3600, 4000, 16 gig, same speeds, 8 gig, same speeds again. That's kind of a fun RAM design though, pretty cool. It is RGB, uh, it has a really interesting heatsink. We're, we're gonna have to definitely build with that, see what that looks like. Oh, and then we've got, so we've got the Excalibur Special Edition that gives you that pattern there on the LED. Um, shroud and then the regular one doesn't have that so uh, same speeds same capacity cool Patriot Viper Steel Series uh, RGB 36 32 36 and 16 32 32 gig uh, yeah nothing too crazy there what Trident Z Royal Elite it's not just Royal it is now Royal Elite 4800 megahertz <gasps> What? So that is now tied for the fastest. Oh, and we've got new Dominator that's 40. Okay, so I lied. Uh, I said we didn't have any super exciting speed, but we do. That is not, that is not true. So we have some new 4,800 megahertz kits tying our existing fastest RAM as far as clock speed goes, the G-Skill Trident Z RGB. Trident Z Royal Elite 14, uh, 4,800 megahertz, and it comes in a 32 gig kit at only 4260, wow. We might also have some new most expensive RAM. Wow. Uh, Trinity Royal Elite in gold and in silver. We are gonna have to build with this as well. Some glammed out RAM here, folks. We got new Corsair Vengeance, good. We actually have not had Corsair Vengeance in the game before. We got in white, we got in red. Nice, bunch of different speed combinations, capacity. Wow, a lot of red variants and then black. A lot of new RAM getting added here. The changelog doesn't really show you exactly how much is in it. And then Corsair Dominators, Platinum RGB in white. And then I think I also saw black. And there's 4,800 megahertz again in a 16 gig capacity. Wow. That's pretty cool. Um, and there's black. Yeah, I bet some of this RAM is gonna be pretty expensive. We'll see if it's more expensive than the uh, Trident Z, the G-Skill Trident Z RGB that we had before. Oh, and more, more Vengeance uh, LPX here now in blue. And how about cool gray? 
and then now we're done. And then just like a random white dim that is up at the top of the list. So there you go, tons of new RAM, a uh, bunch of different options there, pretty exciting. Uh, we'll take that, I will, I will totally take that. Uh, storage, we've got a little bit of new storage here. Ooh, colorful has, oh, colorful now has storage in the game too. Okay, a couple interesting additions for colorful. So the SL500, uh, 512, 720, 960 capacity, two and a half inch SSD. We've got blue. We've got a bunch of black ones, 364, 85, 12. Wow, one terabyte, one terabyte DDR. DDR, Dance Dance Revolution? Uh, what does this stand for? I feel like I should know what this stands for. I'm gonna look it up. Somebody's gonna tell me in the comments. Thank you for doing that already. You're, I know you're down there. 240 or a 256 if you just can't decide. <laughs> Uh, interesting, we just have the one blue? Is that really? Yeah, well, apparently. And then we have uh, some new M.2s from Viper, the VP4300. One terabyte, two terabyte, one terabyte, two terabyte. These have graphene heat shields. These have aluminum heat shields. Interesting. And these are PCIe Gen 4. So not bad, 7,100 megabytes per second on the two terabyte. That's not too shabby as far as speed goes. Um, now I'm like, is what is, what's our like fastest SSD? Okay, apparently it's this. Filtering tells me this is now our fastest storage in the game. So that's cool too. Uh, how much that will actually help our help our like performance? Who knows? But it's it's there. Uh, we've got a bunch of new power supplies, and excitingly, we've got a we've got a few new SFX power supplies. So if we go to SFX, uh, we already had Fractal Designs, we had FSP, and we had Silverstone. Now we've got Cooler Master. We've got an 850 watt, a 750 watt, 650 watt, and a 550 watt. Is that our first 850 watt SFX? It is. Wow. Wow, so that's exciting. We had 650 watts before, so we've also got a 750 watt now and an 850 watt. 850 watt, that's enough to do a RTX 3090 build and and have and have some headroom. So uh, that's cool. We used to kind of have to like eh, taper, like pull down our specs a little bit if we were using a small form factor build because the power supplies just weren't gonna be able to handle it. So that's pretty awesome. We've also got some new standard power supplies. Silverstone's NJ700. You can see the capacitors in there. They're looking very colorful and cool. Uh, white power supply, though. I will take that. Wow, we got a few white power supplies. Cooler Master V1300 Platinum. 1300 watts. Uh, V550 Gold V2 in white or black. 650, also white or black. 750, white or black. 850, white or black. And then we get down to our SFX. And are, is that it? I think so. Yeah. Right? Tough power? We already had this. IRGB plus? It's not in the it's not in the change log. So uh, I guess that's it. Shan Power Kings are not new either. So that's power supplies. Uh, let's see, what else? We've just got a couple other things that we can talk about. Uh, we got a new mouse and a new gaming keyboard. Let's check it out. Here's our new keyboard, the Patriot Viper V765 RGB. That's what it looks like. It looks like, I can't get very close because this, this ball's in the way. Get out of the way, ball. Uh, and then we've got a new mouse, also from Patriot. Their first peripherals in the game, I believe. The Patriot Viper V570 RGB wireless, nope, wired, wired gaming mouse. Uh, there you go, that's all the parts. There's a bunch of bug fixes too. I will link the changelog down below so you can look through those and see if your biggest grievances have been addressed. But uh, yeah, biggest features, obviously, free workshop here, new cases from Corsair, and a bunch of new parts all on top. So that is the 1.15 update. Uh, it's a good one, I'll take it. Uh, I always enjoy updates like this. Love that we're still getting lots of content and uh, new parts out of the game. Uh, hopefully someday we'll get 12th gen Intel. That'll be exciting. A bunch of new other will have to come with that and uh, it'll open up a bunch of new possibilities. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you wanna see more videos of PC Building Simulator uh, or any other games I've been playing, be sure to subscribe in either way. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.